Hi guys, this is Krista from Mosaic Party and Event Design, here to show you some more blooms by Mosaic. Today I want to show you how to make these shabby chic, super adorable fabric flowers. I attach these to hair combs and hair pins and hair clips or magnets. You can wear them in your hair, you can put them on your fridge, you can really do whatever you want with them. You can hot glue some ribbon to them. And attach them to presents or even um, put them on a really nice sash and they're great on a little girl's dress. So to make these you will need some scrap fabric. I'm an event decorator and designer and quite often my inventory gets ruined. Um, these are satin napkins that uh, I have a pile of them. They got ruined by lipstick and spices from food, so I can't put them back in my inventory for reuse, but I can use the fabric for crafting projects. So you'll need some scrap fabric. I will show you the measurements for what I, how I'm cutting them in a moment. You will need some crafting foam or cardboard. It's just um, something that we work with to give us a base on the flower. You will need scissors, um, some sort of embellishment for the center. I pick up um, things at yard sales, the dollar store, this is just a brooch, this is an old button. Um, today I'm going to be working with just a little pearl that I got um, on a sheet of a bunch of them from Michaels. You will need a glue gun and you will also need a heat gun. There is another way that uh, you can get the application finished that I'm going to show you with the heat gun using a candle um, or open flame. However, this, believe it or not, is the safer way. And I want to just add a note that this is not a project for kids because this is uh, obviously a industrial heat source that I'm using. And I want everybody to be very careful. So adult supervision is needed. And that's all you'll need. So, our goal is to end up with petal sets that look like this. You will need six larger sets and five of the small. So you're going to take some scrap fabric and cut it out into squares and you'll want, like I said, you'll want six of the larger squares. These are roughly five inches by five inches. Doesn't have to be exact. And then these ones are roughly three and a half inches by three and a half inches. Now to get the petal shape, you want to take one of your squares, and this works with paper too, guys. You want to take one of your squares and fold corner to corner on the diagonal here. So you're going to fold in half. Don't worry, it's not going to completely line up. Don't worry about perfection. Our finishing is going to fix all, and you want a shabby chic look anyways. So corner to corner, then you're going to find your top and bring down your finger because that's the middle point on the bottom. You're going to take this side and drape it over across on that side, almost think a star shape. And then you're gonna do the same on this side. And you're gonna end up with a piece that looks like this. So just to quickly show you that again, fold in half, find your middle, and over. Now, what you wanna do is cut a curved top to this, basically where everything is folded and you don't have any loose bits that aren't all the sides, you want to cut a curved top. Almost think a, an ice cream cone shape is the end result. You want to come down to about the same side on each side because when you open it up, you'll get a petal shape just like that. Now, our end result, as I showed you earlier, is going to be this, which you can see has curled and, and more finished edges. 
and that's where the heat source comes in. So go ahead and cut out six of the large, five of the small out of those scrap pieces of, of fabric that you, you did. Okay, now to finish the edges, you'll want a tool or utensil that you can hold down the petals because I'm going to be applying my heat gun and trying to get it up and underneath. And I'm gonna hold down the petal because it's gonna flutter it up and kind of give it a curl in. Use a wooden spoon or a wooden dowel, something that's not gonna catch fire, so you don't wanna use a really cheap piece of wood, like a balsa wood or something would not work. I'm going to use my scissors, but I'm going to keep in mind that my scissors are metal and they're gonna get very hot, so I'm gonna try not to touch them for a good long time after. You wanna to touch right close to the tip of each petal and move it around. And my heat gun's gonna be a little loud, so I apologize, but I wanna show you how this works. And you'll also want to make sure that your heat gun is nice and hot. I tried this video a couple minutes ago, but I hadn't used my heat gun all morning and it was too cold to show you. So hopefully it's hot enough now. I'm gonna just turn it on on the lowest setting. And this might take a moment to heat back up. which it is, there we go. So just to quickly show you what this is doing is it's finishing the fray and the, the ends by heat sealing them. And while we're at it, because I'm holding it, it's cur blowing and, and kind of curling up. So the hotter your heat gun is, the quicker it will go, and you'll end up like this. Don't worry if some of them are curled in funny. You don't need uniformity here. You also want to make sure uh, what kind of surface that you're working on. You don't want to do anything that you're going to burn your surface. This wood surface is a is a well well used crafting surface, and well. This board is a crafting surface. I'm actually also working on a wood counter that looks very similar. Um, but you also wanna keep in mind that your surface is gonna get really hot. Okay, so once you have all your pieces done, you'll want to set aside one of your larger ones. I think I'm gonna set aside that one. and keep five of the larger and five of the smaller, okay? And you're gonna set aside that, that, that sixth larger one. We wanna make some sort of little base for these. So I use the foam sheets and I just make these little circles and all I do is take a shot glass because I want a, roughly a two inch circle or slightly smaller. So I take a little shot glass and I just press it into the foam and then I have a cutting guide. I cut that out and crafting foam is super easy to work with. Maybe we'll do some foam flowers sometime as a tutorial. And then again, you don't have to worry about perfection here because we're going to cover it up. So we're gonna take one of our foam pieces. We're gonna get our glue gun handy. Sorry, the cord got stuck on my hand. 
and you're going to take those five of the larger pieces and I, actually you're going to probably just do this with all of them right now is you're going to put a little dot of glue in the middle now you want to keep in mind that sat if you're working with satin or something that has a finish on one side and not the other I want my satin to be on the outside of my flower so right now I'm going to put the satin side down and I'm going to add just a little glue in the middle just a tiny little bit and be careful not to burn your fingers but all you're going to do is grab and pinch at the bottom so you end up with a little roughly shape like that you can twist the bottom a little bit if you want and you want to get all those ready now because you're working with glue and today I'm working with a cheap glue gun my big one ran out of glue sticks so I only have this little cheap dollar store one but glue dries really quickly especially if it's cheaper and it's on a a lower heat so maybe just do a couple at a time and the quicker you get at it the more you can do and they're all going to be slightly different and that's the beauty of this project and if you find it's only folding in half instead of doing that little pinching point you can just add a little glue the outside of it and get it look like that this is a great project to get going um, and prepare when you're watching movies at night because you can pre-cut all your petals in a big batch and then you can come in and make these little guys for the record, these little guys are great on uh, backdrop strings. If you want to hang and you just hang a bunch of these, you just glue them on or feed a string and a, a needle through. All right, so that's all our larger ones. You might as well go through and... I'm dripping glue everywhere. I'm just trying to find where my satin side is. Um, you want to go through and get them all done. And again, keep in mind I'm putting my satin side down so that the finished side is on the outside. I'm not going to lie, this is a bit of a messy project. Um, glue gun and you're going to get fabric fibers everywhere when you're cutting the fabric. I'm not going to show you, but I'm wearing a black shirt today and black pants, which was a big mistake because I am covered in satin threads. So make sure you do this in a space that you don't mind having little fluffies around. All right, so we have all our big ones and all our little ones done. And we have our foam circle. And just try and remove some of this glue. Okay, so we're going to start with our bigger ones and you're going to take your foam and you're going to take one of your, your larger petals, you're going to add glue, and you're just going to glue it to the outside of your little foam piece. The goal is, is we're going to go all the way around with all five. So think a star pattern. Even if you want to draw a little star on here so that you have your points of where you want to... Um, attach to now I'm trying to not burn myself I'm trying to sorry guys I forgot what I was gonna say oh I know I'm trying not to worry so much about closing them up you can have little gaps in it, depending on how big your, your circle is. The bigger you go, the bigger your flower will be, but also, also you may need more, more petals. All right. And you can go through and work that a little bit, but you can see our flowers coming together. 
And if you press down a little more and almost have created a little more of a twist on here, which is going to make the end thicker, you're going to get a little more lift. I didn't do as much lift in this one because of how I'm going to be using it later. But I find that little bit of lift gives you a fuller bloom effect. And then you're just going to want to come in and apply glue to all your smaller sets and work the inside. And I try and go in between where I was working on the larger petals. I also didn't want to glue directly to my foam. I'm applying glue to my petals themselves because I don't want to melt the foam with the glue. glue guns. I have a love-hate relationship with glue guns. They're handy, they're quick, but oh, gets everywhere. And of course, you get prone to burns with glue guns. All right, so our flower is coming together. As you can see, how pretty is that? So I'm going to let that set a little bit and I'm going to just work out any petals that I feel like need a little extra lever or shaping. Um, if they're a little off skew from other petals, I want to make sure it's fairly consistent all the way around. And I do that now while the glue is still a little bit tacky. If you find any that are kind of giving you trouble, you can go in and just tuck them in and add just a little bit of glue or work with the glue that's in there. Okay, so we have our flower and I just want to apply a super sweet rose um, pearl center. So I'm going to just apply some glue to that and pop it in my center. Now also, if you're using a smaller center, you're gonna also get more lift. This one was quite a bit bigger, so I have less lift on my smaller petal set. Again, I wanted this one flatter for an application I'm gonna be applying it to. You can go through and just ruffle it up or spread it out. Go in and see if there's anywhere that you wanna add a little bit of glue. But how we're going to finish this up is we're going to take our last piece and we're going to cover that bottom. And I want to make sure my satin is on the outside this time. It doesn't really matter. If you want it consistent so the satin is peeking through and inconsistent with these petals, you can do it that way too. So. And I'm just going to try and line this up in between where the petals go in between those petals as best you can. Now, like I said, you can apply a hair comb or pins or sticks if you wanted to make some really nice hair sticks. Some chopsticks attached to this would be great. Um, you can attach some ribbon before you put on this piece to, to make it a present or a bow tying thing or a sash for a dress. You can attached magnets. Really, the possibilities are endless. I've even attached little hooks before so that I can hang them on um, picture frames. Just tiny little hooks you get at the picture hanging aisles in the craft stores. And there you go. Shabby chic, super adorable fabric flowers. Happy crafting, guys. Bye.